Welcome to day 559 of our Web3 journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein, and today I'm here by myself because Brian was still without power. Uh, I still don't have very fast internet, so I'm going to have to upload this a little later. But let's get to the news. Uh, day fi 559 of our Web3 journey. This video is sponsored by NFT Tech. They're an investor in DeSoFi. So Elon Musk made an interesting tweet yesterday. I guess it was this morning. In regards to his purchase of Twitter, and he said buying Twitter is an accelerant of creating X, the everything app. So to me, it looks like he wants to kind of Web3 transform Twitter and then implement all these other types of features as well. Maybe we'll have shopping, maybe we'll have sports, maybe we'll have TV, who knows. But I, it seems like this is just going to be a platform for him to expand to like an app to do everything. I don't know what it's going to encompass. I don't know what it's going to entail, but it's definitely interesting. And it definitely makes us wonder why or if he will perhaps implement DSO at some point to kind of bring everything Web3 into the everything app that he calls it. Anyhow, moving on to the DSO blockchain, NFTZ has big news. Today, NFTZ.me has announced that timed auctions are now live in beta. So anyone can now create a timed auction live in beta. Um, if you have an NFT you want to auction off, you set the timer that when, when that auction ends upon the expiration of that timer, the individual who has the highest bid or the individual, if there's multiple bids for the same price, the first one to bid that price will be assigned the NFT. Uh, so definitely check this out. Again, it's in beta. So if you see any bugs, please report them. Um, there's a long blog post if you go to at NFTZ on DSO explaining everything. Brian actually wrote that this morning. So check that out. And Alex Toma pointed out late last night that Diamond has a new feature. He noticed that you can now post or click on blog post. And of course, blog post is a long form post that we've been waiting for. Natter confirmed this. He put out a long blog post himself. And you can now make these long form posts directly onto the DSO blockchain. It's similar to what Zirkles does, but everything is going to be on chain. And you can diamond them, you can interact with them. The formatting is pretty good. I think there's still some work that probably needs to be done. But this could be the future of blogging. It could be the future of the internet, the initiation of the future of the Web3 internet. And Natter also mentioned that you're going to be able to email your followers. So people are going to be able to subscribe to your blog and you're going to be able to email them, maybe send out notifications when you have a new blog post that you just published. Uh, we posted a blog post today. NFTZ posted one. A bunch of other people posted blog posts as well. It's a really cool feature on the DSO blockchain. Check it out. Experience it. Um, DSO also put out a statement saying with DSO, every follower can now opt to automatically share their email with you encrypted on chain making it so that you get the value of an email subscriber with the ease of a simple follow so this is huge i think a lot of people are going to be excited about this natter mentioned also mentioned somebody needs to create a wordpress plugin so when you publish a blog on wordpress it also gets published to the DSO blockchain i think that was an awesome idea uh, moving on, Mario Nawfall and Kyle Chase in Mario's huge Twitter Spaces room talked at length about about DSO. And Mario disclosed publicly for the very first time that he and his company have invested heavily into DSO seven days ago. Uh, he said one of their biggest investments into a listed token. So this investment into DSO has been one of Mario Nawfall's and his company's biggest investments into a listed token. Uh, he also thanked us for a long call. Uh, he actually talked to Brian, I think it was last week or earlier this week. Uh, he told him about the investment plans and uh, he's, he's following, he's, he's followed by chats with a few VCs, he said. So he, he's talked to other VCs. I think this is huge. We might see some VCs jump into DSO. So DSOFI, our sponsor or NFT Tech sponsors us. They're an investor in DSOFI. DSOFI has created a new logo. I love the logo. Um, definitely better than the first one they had. Check it out. Just go to DSOFI on DSO. 
And DSocial World has, they're another app on the DSocial blockchain. They have some pretty big news today as well. They're sponsoring the Dutch Blockchain Week. This is the largest Web3 event in the Netherlands. Amongst the partners are Deloitte, EY, and crypto exchangers like Coinmerse. Uh, so this is huge. I love to see the social world take part in these sponsorships. Um, the cost, according to the social world, will impact their dev capacity, but it's a strategic choice as we have reason to believe that the Dutch market, or better, the Dutch people, will be inclined to embrace DSO apps. So I'm looking forward to this. The daily active users on DSO have already been soaring. This is just going to help more. And Pearl, the Instagram-like app on the DSO blockchain, just announced that early access users now can invite up to three of their friends to skip the wait list. So Pearl is now open to the masses. I guess you could say that because every early access user is going to be able to invite three of their friends. All you have to do is open the Pearl app Head on over to your profile, select settings in the top right, then select invite friends, and then just share it, share it. So moving on, Illuminati, one of the DSO OGs who has been an NFT artist, creator of the Rowdy Reptilian, said he's going to be taking a snapshot of Genesis and generative Rowdy Reptilian holders in the next 48 hours, and that was probably about 12 hours ago. He said, stay tuned for more details. So you might want to own a Rowdy Reptilian's NFT. You might get something special. And Desolators by uh, William Laurent. The next Desolators drop is going to be a 100-piece giveaway to the community. So William Laurent's kind of taking, I guess, following the reins of It's Aditya and Nathan Wells and giving away NFTs to the, to the Desol community. I think it's a great way to bring people on board. Keep it up, William Laurent. And in other NFT news on Deso, you can now mint a Clara Mouse NFT. They're the Clara Mouse Animal Kingdoms for only 0.1 DSO. DSO is worth about $19, so that's about $1.90 per NFT. Pretty good deal. Uh, six days left for the special price. Clara Mouse is created by Nathan Wells' daughter, and I believe she's 13 years old. So this is a really cool project by a really, really artistic young lady. Uh, so quickly, let's touch on the 10 people with the most NFT bids in the last 24 hours, thanks to NFTZ. We haven't done this in a while because of the hurricane, but we are back with this list, or I guess I should say I'm back with this list. Uh, so the top 10 are at 012345, Visha Gulia, NFT Van Halen, Randier, Agent X, Natterheads, Peter H, Just in Time, Cryptidiot, Shogun XBT and the top diamonded creators on DSO in the last 24 hours per Altum base are D Social World, Natter, Krasenstein, us, Robert Graham, Mabel, Chris Mango, who was actually onboarded by Robert Graham. Chris seems like a really cool guy. I haven't got to meet him yet, but maybe we can have him on our show one of these days. Yuchi, Randhir, Stargeezer, and It's Aditya. And today's events, thanks to Miss Katie Ann, I know this is coming to you late. At 11 a.m. Eastern Time, this has already passed, was Mario Nawfall's Twitter Spaces room. At 1 p.m. was the Financial Planning AMA with one Dolinsky and Darian Parrish on Vibe Hut. Again, that's passed when you're, if you're watching this video. At 1 p.m. Eastern Time, it was the Entree Community Hangout with Sean Tron and Michael Mara. 3 p.m. was Authorpreneur 101 with Ethan Turner, T Ethan Torer Twitter, on Twitter Spaces. And at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, this might not be after you watch this video. It might be after you watch this video. It's Deso Trivia Night, hosted by Beer Buds, Brian Drever, Blockchain Padawan, NFT3, Jody Bossert, Just Nick. We'll all be there, among many others, and that's on Clubhouse. So that's all I have for today. Again, thanks for watching this video. Sorry for rushing through this, and sorry for not having Brian on the show today. Sorry for not editing. It's just because we're still recovering from Hurricane Ian, and our internet is super slow. But we're getting there. So everybody have a great rest of your day and we'll talk to you soon.